Hello there and welcome to Wondershare Repair It. If QuickTime Player is refusing to open your videos, this can be due to so many different reasons, from unsupported formats to corrupted files. But the good news is there are practical solutions to resolve this. In this video, I'll show you simple step-by-step -step methods so you can fix this issue and get your videos playing smoothly once again. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful guides, leave a comment below with any of your thoughts and questions that you might have, and also give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get to it. QuickTime Player is a reliable choice to play videos on Mac but I've seen cases where it completely refuses to open videos. So let's look at some common causes on why this might happen. If QuickTime cannot access your video, it's because the player is often outdated or it cannot access that file format. So updating QuickTime can often fix this issue super quickly. Corruption in the video file is another common cause. I've seen this happen countless times because mostly it's because there's a missing codec, it's an unsupported format, or the file extension of the video is completely wrong. Sometimes the problem lies in your Mac itself. Malware or system errors can prevent QuickTime from working properly. So regular system maintenance or virus checks can help prevent this issue. Understanding these causes is the first step into solving the problem. So now let's get into the fixes. If QuickTime Player isn't opening your video files, there are several methods you can try. I'll guide you through each step so you can resolve this issue and enjoy your videos once again. Method number one, update QuickTime Player on Mac. One of the first things I do if QuickTime fails to open my videos is check if the application is outdated. So here's how you can check if it's updated. Let's open QuickTime Player on your Mac and then go to the help menu at the top of the QuickTime Player window. Then click update on existing software from the drop down menu and then follow the on screen instructions to complete the update process. Updating QuickTime ensures compatibility with more file formats and fixes bugs that might be causing the issue. Method number two, use other installed apps to play videos on Mac. Sometimes QuickTime isn't the right tool for the job. Other apps like VLC are much more versatile and can handle more video formats. Here's how you can set up VLC as your default player. First, find a video file like an MP4 that you want to play. Then right click it and select Get Info. In the dialog box, find Open With and select VLC.app. Then click Change All to make VLC the default player for similar file types. At last, confirm the change when prompted and close the window. Now your videos will open automatically with VLC by passing QuickTime. Method number three, use suggested Mac apps to open videos. If you prefer exploring other options, Mac offers great media video players. Here's how you can find them and use them. Let's right click the video file and select open with. Then choose an installed app from the list like MP Player X, 5K Player, L Media Player, or Plex. If none of the installed apps work, search the App Store or online for compatible video players. Using the right app for your file format can save you time and frustration. Method number four, fix QuickTime Player on Mac. If the issue is with QuickTime itself, Here's how you can fix it. Let's open the Applications folder and navigate to Utilities. Launch the Activity Monitor program and then under the Process Name column, locate QuickTime Player. Click the Quick Process button at the top left of the window and confirm the action by clicking Quit again. After quitting the process, restart your Mac and check if QuickTime Player now works. With these methods, you have several ways to fix QuickTime and get back to enjoying your videos once again. If your videos are corrupted and QuickTime still cannot open them, this is where Wondershare Repair Video Repair Software comes in handy and shines on Mac. I've personally found this tool to be super reliable, professional, and incredibly easy to use. And it can repair multiple corrupted video files. So you can get your content super easy with just a few simple steps. Here's how you can use it. 
download and install Wondershare Repair it on your MacBook, then launch it. Add the damaged video files from your computer folder to the interface. Alternatively, you can drag and drop the files directly into the tool. Select all the corrupted videos you wish to fix and then click the repair button located at the bottom right of the screen to start the repair process. When the repair process is complete, review the videos to ensure the issues have been fixed. Finally, click save and choose the desired location on your Mac to store the repaired files. For smaller files under 3GB, you can also try the online version of Repaired Video Repair, which works seamlessly without requiring a software download. This flexibility makes Repaired one of the best tools for video repair. Thank you so much for watching, and I truly hope this video helped you repair QuickTime Player and fix any corrupted video files. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and share any thoughts you might have in the comments below. Also subscribe to our channel for more helpful tech tips. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.